क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the classification of polymers based on their structure and now in this topic we are going to talk about the classification of polymers based on the polymerization process so now let's get started So friends we are talking about the classification of polymers based on the polymerization process so therefore there are basically two polymerization process from which basically we could get two kind of polymers and those products are basically known as so friends we are talking about the classification of polymers based on the polymerization process so therefore there are basically two polymerization process from which basically we could get two kind of polymers and those products are basically known as addition polymers and condensation polymers so what does addition polymers means it means the polymers that are been obtained from the alkenes or the derivatives of alkene by the addition reaction method and in this case the total number of carbon atom or the total number of any atom it would be as it is and therefore there will be no elimination of small molecules like water or ethanol and so on so that's the reason this is a kind of polymer that has been obtained by the addition reaction so for example if i would talk about then if we concern about that is orlon so orlon is an example of basically an addition polymer and suppose if i am talking about condensation polymers then condensation polymers are the polymers that are been obtained from the monomers and for which basically whenever they will go through a condensation process obviously there will be an elimination of smaller molecules like water or methanol or ethanol so such kind of polymers which are formed due to condensation reaction that kind of polymers are basically known as condensation polymers for example if you talk about polyester so polyester or suppose if we talk about that is nylon 66 so this are certain polymers which are nothing but they are condensation polymers so therefore this are the two methods that i was talking about and now let me elaborate a few difference between this two so the polymers that are being obtained through the addition reaction are basically the one which will have the same number of atoms as it is for example suppose if i am taking 10 moles of a particular monomer and for example suppose if i am preparing a polymer out of it so therefore the polymer will contain all the atoms that i have introduced so as to form a polymer but suppose if i am considering a condensation polymer so in this case basically the polymers that i am using suppose if i am using a monomer or suppose if i am using n number of monomers so as they could form a polymer so i could calculate that is the total number of carbon nitrogen or depending on the total number of atoms they are less compared to that of the total number of monomers that i have taken so in that case we see the rest of the part has been eliminated in the form of water or in the form of methanol or certain smaller molecules so therefore these are the two difference between that is addition polymers as well as condensation polymers so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much